we are going to go ahead and get started. So make sure, again, you have your mats, uh, your mats out, and then a chair nearby. We'll use that for the, the middle portion of our workout today, okay? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start out with a poem for us today. It's called Nothing is Impossible. I tell you, this was no ordinary rainbow. It stretched low and wide, the spectrum reaching inside the mountain, tickling the tops of trees with indigo and red. I gaped and laughed and leaped. I tell you, it was something, this rainbow, and I took it for a sign. A sign of what, you ask? That nothing is impossible. I answer, that gladiolus can shoot up through a blue Persian rug, that the stars in Orion's belt can join a rhythm and blues band, the squirrels can count change at the basketball game, and grapefruits as bit as bowl, what? And grapefruits as big as bowling balls can roll into the kitchen in time for tomorrow's breakfast. I tell you, this was no run of the mill rainbow. The ark is with me still. It's promise steering me clear of whatever passes for normality around here. So nothing is impossible, my friends. Nothing is impossible. So a little, uh, little poem for you this morning. Um, so go ahead and get your mats out. You can come on down to the floor. Uh, actually, I'm just kidding acts that you're going to come to your mats. You're going to stand at the back of your mat. We're going to start standing today. Uh, and again, just have your chair nearby and then uh, we'll grab that chair when we need it. Okay. All right. So coming to the back of your mats and you can have, um, feel free to have music playing in the background. I'm not going to play music today. Um, so that's totally up to you. You can have some music in the background. If you'd like, we're going to do a nice little flow yoga flow, get the body warmed up. And then we will do some bar exercises with those legs. And then we will come down to the mat for some Pilates today, okay? All right, biggest thing is listen to your body. Make sure you breathe through the movements. Don't hold your breath, okay? All right, here we go. Inhale, take those arms up nice and tall. Exhale, float them right back down. Two more times. Inhale, float them up overhead. Exhale, float them back down. Good. One more time. Just filling up those lungs, starting to move the body and the breath. Exhale down. Good job. Inhale, float them up. This time, exhale, bring them down through to heart center. Beautiful job. We're going to start to flow here. And just remember to listen to your body. If something doesn't feel right to you, you do not have to do it, okay? Inhale, arms up. Exhale, we're going to swan dive forward, coming into a forward fold. Now, if you can't reach the floor comfortably, you can have the hands on the legs if you need to, especially if you're doing this first thing in the morning, you might be a little bit stiffer. So just take your time. You may also grab opposite elbows, or in fact, you can use that chair here, the chair seat, if you need that extra assistance, okay? So we're just hanging out here for a moment, noticing the backside of the body start to open up. You can shake the head out, yes, shake it out, no. Inhale, half lift. Everybody bring those hands to the shins. Nice flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Head lifts, hands up. Exhale, option for a slight back bend. Good. Inhale, tall. Exhale, swan dive forward, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Connecting your breath with your movement. Inhale, head lifts, reverse swan dive. Exhale, slight back bend. Good, one more time. Inhale, tall. Exhale, swan dive forward. Into that forward fold. Good, inhale, half lift. Just starting to move that body. Exhale, forward fold. And then inhale, reverse. Head lifts, hands up. Exhale, back bend. Good, now we're gonna start to walk it out to the floor. Inhale, tall. Exhale, swan dive forward, coming into that forward fold. Let that head hang heavy for a moment. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. And you're going to take those hands, bend those knees as much as you need to, and walk it on out into a high push-up plank. Now, remember, you can drop down to the knees if you need to. Nice and slowly lower all the way down to the belly. And then inhale, crown of the head lifts, coming into baby cobra. A little bit of a back bend, so listen to your body. Hands are nice and light on the mat. Or maybe if your lower back is a little bit more warmed up this morning and you're ready, you can take those elbows under the shoulders and hands out into Sphinx pose. Just make sure the crown of the head is lifting out of those shoulders. Breathe. Try not to squeeze the glutes here. Relax the glutes and pay attention to that lower back. Good. Gently release when you're ready. 
frame the chest with those hands, push up, hips up, coming into your first downward dog this morning. So fingertips are spread nice and wide, elbows rotated in, and then shoulder blades down and back, okay? So the ears kind of line up with the, with the biceps. Now, your knees might need to bend here a little bit, especially first thing in the morning, okay? So we're just gonna start to pedal out those legs, Breathe and just start to notice the back side of the body again. Warming up your dog. Walk the dog. Pedaling one heel to the floor and then the other. Maybe you wag the tail a little bit. Kind of shift those hips left and right. Good job. All right. So from here, inhale and then exhale. You're going to bend those knees again as much as you need to. <clears throat> Walk those hands back to those feet, coming back into your forward fold. Inhale, half lift, exhale, forward fold, inhale, reverse, head lifts, hands up, exhale, slight back bend. So we're going to do that two more times. So adjust it to what you need. If you need to take a part out, you can if you have any ailments in the body today that just doesn't feel good, okay? Inhale, nice and tall, exhale, swan dive forward, forward fold. Good, inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold, walk those hands out, coming into your high push-up plank. And then again, remember you can drop to the knees if you'd like. Now, if you're ready to go into a bigger back bend, you can. You'll go about halfway down into a push-up and then scoop forward, lengthening those arms into your cobra or pressing into the tops of those feet to lift the thighs into your up dog. Now try not to dump into those wrists here. Use those hands like suction cups. Try not to squeeze the glutes either. But listen to that lower back. You do the back bend that is good for you today, okay? When you're done, tuck the toes, hips up, down dog. Pedal it out nice and easy. Good. Wag the tail, walk the dog. Inhale, and then exhale, walk those hands back to those feet into your forward fold. Good, hang out here for just a moment. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. We're going to walk those hands over to the right side, bending the left knee slightly and let the head hang heavy. Good. Noticing the hips, noticing the thighs, noticing how this changes, how the body changes here. Good. Gently come back to center. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. And then walk those hands over to the left. Again, if your hands can't touch the floor, you can have them on the leg if you need to, or grab opposite elbows and just gently twist. Twisting to the left, right knee slightly bends. Good, breathe. Let the head hang heavy. And then gently come back to center. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. And then inhale, reverse swan dive. Good, exhale, slight back bend. Inhale, tall. One more time, my friends. Swan dive forward into your forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold, walk those hands out into your high push-up plank, and you choose your back bend, whatever that is for you today. A lot, you have four choices, baby cobra, sphinx, up dog, or cobra. When you're done, tuck the toes, hips up, down dog, pedal it out. <sighs> Make sure you're breathing, don't hold your breath. Nice deep breaths, wag the tail. Walk the dog, shoulders relaxed and down. Good. All right, inhale and then exhale. Walk those hands back to those feet into your forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. And then inhale, reverse swan dive. Head up, arms up. Exhale, back bend. One more time on that back bend. Inhale, tall. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, tall. Exhale, hands down through to heart center. Beautiful job. Check in here. Sip your water if you need to. Grab your chair. Or again, you can use, if you're in a kitchen or you have a taller table that you can use, you can use a, a countertop or a tabletop if you need to, okay? So just have a chair nearby. We're going to use it for balance, all right? <sighs> the biggest thing, again, is just listen to your body. Give things a try and see how it feels. And if it's a bit too much for you today, you can always, we can always modify, okay? All right, so we're going to start with the feet uh, parallel. So about two fist distance apart. You're just going to have either side hand on the chair is fine, okay? 
All right, so you're just gonna start to rock forward and back on those feet, and then side to side, forward and back, side to side. Good. Forward and back, good. Spread out those toes, like press them down into the mat, just working on the base of our, base of our feet here, good. And then maybe the opposite direction, big toes to the little toes, it's hard. Good, but give it a try, it's fun. All right, forward and back, side to side, a couple more times. All right, my friends, nice and tall. Now, this is, I'm gonna call this our bar, okay? Whatever it is that you're using. No death grips on the bar, okay? It's just nice and light. It's there for the assistance for balance, okay? All right, so um, feet are parallel, okay? Toes facing forward, nice and tall. The belly is pulled in. Ears are over the shoulders, nice and tall. Now, hand can come to the hip, for now, okay, we're just gonna come into our chair squats. So nice and easy, you're gonna squat it down and up. Good, down and up. Now, make sure you're hinging at the hips. You may also face your chair. It just depends on what's comfortable for you. When you're in a bar class, the bar would be across. So if you're able, you can come closer and then sit into your chair nice and easy. There you go, take your time. It's just warming up the legs here with some squats. Take your time. So find what feels best. If you rather have the chair in front of you, that's fine. Sometimes you might have a tendency to pull on the chair, so just be very mindful. Good, sitting the hips back into a nice hinge and then sit the booty down and up. Good, two more please. Down and up, good. Now, last one, we're gonna come about halfway and hold, okay? All right, so from here, we're gonna go into one inch down, one inch up, one inch down, one inch up. So it's not a pulse, it's a little bit bigger movement, okay? Down and up, down and up. You're gonna feel those quads fire. You're gonna feel the tops of the thighs fire, yes? Three, two, and then pulse. So it's a, the pulse is nice and little. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up, whoo, shake it out. So those legs should definitely be on fire, yes? Okay. All right, so now we're gonna come into first position, which is gonna be heels together, toes out, okay? In Pilates, we call it um, Pilates stance, okay? So heels together, toes out. Now, for some of us who have a little bit more meat in the middle of our legs, you can actually separate those feet a little bit if you'd like, see how it feels, all right? Now, I prefer to be to the side on this one. You can give both tries a side, both Sides a try, yeah, that made sense. <laughs> Coming into our plie squat. So from here, from first position, nice and tall, hand can be to the hip or up in first position like a, like a half of a hug, okay? But keep the shoulder blades down. I'm gonna go ahead and keep my hand on the hip for here, for now, okay? Now, from here, plie squat, plie just means halfway. Down and up, down and up. Good. Now, when you, what you're thinking about, what you're focusing on, is squeezing the inner thighs together at the top. Squeeze and squeeze the glutes like you're zipping up those legs, yes, from behind, okay? Inhale down, exhale up. Three, good job. Two, nice and tall, try not to lean forward. And last one, we're gonna come halfway down and hold. All right, into your plie squat. Remember, no death grips. It's nice and light on that chair. Now, one inch down, one inch up, one inch down, one inch up. Good, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it down, little pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up, whoo, shake it out if you need to. Good job, all right. Now, to progress in this uh, plie squat, we can releve. Now, it just depends on your feet and if you're comfortable to do that. If that releve is not for you, releve just means lifted. If that's not for you, you keep the feet on the floor. If you choose to releve, there's gonna be a little bit more balance here, so that's why we have the bar, right? All right, so releve means lift the heels, and then I want you to bring the feet together and kiss the heels. Okay, so nice and tall. Again, hand on the hip or first position. Okay, now from here, plie squat. Down and up, down and up. Now you might actually be able to go a little bit lower here in your squat. Listen to your body, stay nice and tall. Good job, you got four more. I'm gonna turn to the side for a moment so you can see from the side. So you're going straight down and up. Good, straight down and up. So not like, our other squats where we hinge, right? You're going straight down and up. Now, come halfway down and hold. Woo, right here, here we go, ready? One inch down, one inch up. One inch down, one inch up. Good job. Five, four, three, 
two. Now hold it down and pull. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Woo hoo. Shake it out. And pay attention to the feet too. If you're not used to being on uh, your tippy toes for a long period of time, remember to listen to those feet and come back down to the floor at any time, okay? It takes some time to kind of build up the strength in the feet to be up in releve a lot, okay? So shake it out, shake it out. All right, we're going to come into some kicks. Oh, shake it out. You got it. Nice and tall. First position. Okay. I'm going to keep my hand on the hip, but again, you can have the arm up in first position if you choose. Okay. Now from here, whichever side the bar is on the outside leg for you. Okay. The outside leg for you, you're going to swoop that foot forward, point the toe and lift, point the toe and lift. Okay. Point and lift. Now it's like you're hitting the inner thigh to the ceiling. Yes, because our hip is already turned open. Here we go. Four more. You can slightly bend the knee. Three, two. Now hold it up. One inch down, one inch up, one inch down, one inch up. You got it. Six, five. Stay tall. Four, three. No death grips. Now a little pulse. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Those pulses are just little bitty moves. And you're thinking about that muscle that we're activating, the inner thigh for that one. We're thinking about it hitting the ceiling, okay? So now, first position, we're going to go out to the side. So you shift your weight to that inside leg, nice and tall. And you're going to take, you're going to swoop it out. You're going to point and kick, point together, point and kick, point together. Now the goal, we don't want to lean over. It's not about how high you kick. It's about engaging that outer glute here and the outer thigh. Good job. Now, if you want to take it to just two, you can actually swoop it instead of point, kick, point together. You can basically just swoop it, kick, swoop it together, kick. Okay. So it just depends. This is kind of like the basic to get into the kick point, swoop, or excuse me, point, kick, point together. Okay. But if you can, if you can get that fluidity going, you kick, swoop the foot back in. Okay. So totally your call. Three, two, we got a little extra credit here and one. Now hold this one up one inch down, one inch up, one inch down. Now be careful not to lean into that bar. I know you want to, I know you want to, cause I do too, but that's okay. Stay tall. Use that chair for balance. Think about that outer glute, outer thigh working, hitting the ceiling. Now pulse eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You feel it in that standing leg too. Yes. Woo. Shake it out. I'm right here with you. I'm right here with you. Shake it out. <sighs> All right, my friends, now we're going to go into a back kick. So I'm going to scoot forward a little. Make sure you got plenty of room behind you that you don't kick anything. Okay. All right. So again, first position, nice and tall, same, same leg. You're going to take it back behind you. You're going to point and lift. I'm going to turn to the side for this one to show you first position, nice and tall. You're going to shift that weight over point kick. So it's about that glute engaging the glute, bring the heels back together. So you can start out with a point. Lift, point, together, point, lift, point, together, point, lift. And then eventually you can take the point out and kick, swoop the foot. It's just learning how to swoop the foot nicely into a point and back into first position. Kick. Good job. Three, thinking about squeezing that glute. Last one. Now take it up and hold little, uh, one inch up, one inch down. So you're not thinking about moving the leg. You're thinking about squeezing the glute, squeeze, squeeze. So when you squeeze that glute, the leg actually naturally moves. You got it. Four, three, two. Now little pulse, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. And all you're doing is, in, is engaging that muscle. You're squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release as fast as you can. Okay. Whoo. Shake it out. Sip your water. If you need to switch the chair to the other side. That's what I'm going to do Whew. or you to the other side, right? <laughs> Whichever works best for you. So you can still see me. Okay. <sighs> Back to the beginning, my friends, toes forward, toes forward, one hand here, or you can be facing the chair. We're going to do those squats first. Notice the difference in the legs. Notice what's going on with those muscles, right? Okay. Here we go. Ready down and up again. Hand can be on the hip here. And for these squats, you are hinging. Okay. Now, if you had an ad here, if you're on a countertop or if you were at a bar class and you were able to hold on to the bar, you would actually pull just slightly to where you can stay more upright. But for right now, for what we have, we're just going to do these squats to warm up those legs again, kind of even them out. Good job. Three, 
two. Now, come on, halfway down, hold. One inch down, one inch up. One inch down, one inch up. Good. Three, four, five, six, seven, and pulse. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Whew. You can scream at me. It's okay. <laughs> All right, first position. Heels together, toes out, hand on the hip, or up in first position. Your call. Okay? All right, here we go. Um, forward uh, plie squat. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> here we go. Almost forgot. I was going to go straight into the kicks. Plie squats, my friends. Down and up. Remember, you can separate the feet a little bit if you need to. Down and up. Straight down and up. Good. It's only halfway down. Squeeze the inner thighs and the glutes together at the top. Squeeze. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Good job. Come on down. Hold. One inch down, one inch up. One inch down, one inch up. You got it. Come on. Six, five, four, three. Nice and tall. Good posture. Now, little pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job. Shake it out if you need to. Releve. Up to those tippy toes. Kiss the heels together. Here we go. One more time with those plie squats. Down and up. Squeeze. Down and up. Squeeze. Six. Good job. Five. You can have the arm up if you choose. Four. Three. Two. Now hold it down. One inch down. One inch up. One inch down. One inch up. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, now little pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Woohoo! Breathe. Make sure you're breathing too. Don't hold your breath here, okay? All right, reset. First position. Front kicks, please. Point, kick, point together. Point, kick, point together. Now you can take that extra step out and just swoop. Four, three, two, and hold it up. One inch down, one inch up. Think about that inner thigh hitting the ceiling. Three, two, little pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Bring it in. Whew, pedal it out. Side kicks, first position, nice and tall. Point, kick, point together. Now be careful not to lean over. Remember, it's not about how high you kick, it's about engaging that outer glute and outer thigh. Okay? Point, kick, point together. Point, kick. Take the point out if you choose and swoop the foot, okay? Just depending on where you are and where you're comfortable, you practice that pointing and flexing of the foot. Point and flex, or swoop it all together. Three, two, and one. Hold it up, one inch down, one inch up. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up, little pulse. Seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, good job. So if you ever re-watch this video, when you do these kicks, you may also do them in releve, okay? And keep that other foot up on the toes if you want to practice releve more, okay? All right, coming into our back kick. For the sake of time, we're not going to do releve on the kicks too, okay? All right, here we go. First position. Take those toes out nice and tall. Ready? Back behind. Point, kick, point together. I'm going to turn to the side for this one. All right. Now, again, you can point, kick, and you stay tall. You're using the glute. You're not leaning forward. It's not about how high you kick here. It's about engaging those muscles. And then if you can take the point kick out, you can kick, point and flex, point and flex. Three, two, and hold it up. Now, squeeze the glute. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Point the toe. You'll notice it'll naturally move if you just think about squeezing the glute. Four, three. Two, now a little pulse. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job. Woohoo! Pedal it out, shake it out, move that chair out of your way. Yes, have a sip of water. Now we are gonna go down to the mat for a little bit of Pilates work here. Remember, if going down to the mat's not for you, you can do these in the chair, okay? Great job. So basically, we're just going to do a nice little core finisher. we got about five minutes, okay? Woohoo! I don't know about you, but I'm, <laughs> I'm breathy. <laughs> I hope you feel like you got a good workout. Come on down. We're not done yet. Almost done. We're going to do a little bit of core. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, my friends. Make your way down to your mat. We're going to do a nice little five-minute Pilates core finisher, okay? All right, here we go. Come on down nice and easy. Bring those knees into that chest. Hug it out for just a moment. Maybe you rock side to side. 
<sighs> and then if you're able, if you have neck issues, you can keep the head down if you need to. But if you're able, bring the head up, chin towards the chest, eye gaze towards the belly. Let's keep that left knee in, right leg out nice and long, single leg stretches here. So remember with Pilates, it's all about the breath. Inhale, exhale, out the mouth. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. It's a powerful exhale out the mouth. Four more. Three, two, one. Good job. Both knees in. Rest the head. <clears throat> so it's powerful breath here. Powerful breath out the mouth. <sighs> we're going to do those single leg stretches one more time, but we're going to start with that right knee in. Left leg out nice and long. Bring the head up into that Pilates C curve. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale, switch. <sighs> Inhale. <sighs> Six. <sighs> Belly button pulled in and up. Good job. Five. <sighs> Four. <sighs> Two. Oh, I can't count. Three. <laughs> Two. And one. Good job. Oh, how funny. Bring those knees in. Rest the head. Rock it side to side. All right, my friends. We're going to come into our Pilates crisscrosses. Basically bicycles, but nice, slow, and controlled, okay? So kind of bring that breath and heart rate down a little bit. Nice deep breaths. All right, when you're ready, we're going to take those knees over the hips. Knees are bent 90 degrees. Go ahead and bring those hands behind the head. Now, again, the hands are just here for support. They're not here to pull on the head, okay? Chin towards the chest, eye gaze towards the belly. Inhale, extend the left leg and take that left elbow up towards the knee. But we're not going like almost going up towards the ceiling, not crunching in towards the knee, okay? All right, bring it back in. So you're going to inhale, extend the right leg and then almost take the underarm towards the knee. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, opposite side. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, bring it back. Good. Inhale, <sighs> inhale. <sighs> Try to keep the knees over the hips the best you can. Good job. Normally, we kind of do this number, right? But I want you to be controlled. <sighs> inhale, <sighs> four more. <sighs> Three, <sighs> two, Woohoo! Last one. Beautiful job. Bring that head down. Take those feet down to the mat and take the feet wide. Kind of hammock sway those legs side to side. Good job today, my friends. Oh my goodness. I am sweating. I'm sparkling over here, let me tell you. I hope you guys felt like you got a great workout. Stretch it out. Bring those knees back in. Hug it out. Good. All right, let's do a nice little figure four stretch here. So bring those feet down to the mat, pre-bridge stance. Take that left leg up, cross that ankle over the opposite thigh, and then bring that right thigh towards the chest. <sighs> a little glute stretch here. Nice and easy, breathe, nice deep breath, starting to bring that heart rate down. <sighs> Good, nice deep breaths. <sighs> Feel free if you want to take that right leg up to the sky, you can. Give yourself some rotations on that ankle, point flex. Good. All right, gently bringing that foot down to the mat. Uncross that foot. Maybe you take them wide for a couple of hammock sways. Nice and easy. And then bring them back to that bridge stance. Let's take that right leg up, cross that ankle over. And then reach through and bring that right, or excuse me, left knee in towards the chest. <sighs> nice deep breaths. Make sure the neck is nice and long, shoulders relaxed. Gently sway a little bit side to side. So if you notice when you grab the leg, the neck and shoulders kind of become really tense and kind of scrunch up, maybe you use a strap around that thigh, okay? Option to take that left leg to the sky, rotate those ankle, the ankle. Point and flex. Good. And gently release that foot down. Uncross that leg. Take them nice and wide and hammock sway side to side. Beautiful job, my friends. 
All right, bring those knees in, take the hands behind the knees creases, separate those knees, and then nice and gently you can roll forward and back. You can do it a few times if you'd like, just kind of massage that spine. Inhale back, exhale up. Take your time, try to balance on the tailbone. Exhale up, inhale. Good, maybe a couple more times if that feels good to you. And then come into your simple seated position. Oh, good, good job. Thank you for joining me today. Inhale, take those arms up overhead. Exhale, bring those hands together and down through to heart center. Oh, sealing our, or I should say, fusing our bar fusion class together today. Namaste and God bless you all. Thank you so much for being here.